Now it's over to a chef, Chef Mark, who's making a dessert this morning. I know Mal is very excited about this. I know, I've never seen so excited. I know, yes. Let's make some more desserts. Creme caramel. That's what you're doing, eh? Is that yes. how you say it? Or yeah. creme caramel? Creme caramel. So it's pretty simple. It doesn't look very interesting with the ingredients here. There's not many ingredients, no. but it's going to be absolutely amazing. We've got some milk, we've got some eggs to set it, got this beautiful vanilla pod here, nice. which is going to give us a fantastic vanilla flavour. Right. And a little bit of sugar in it, but we're going to make a caramel with some sugar, mm. and then we're going to bake the custard on top and then flip it out. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. OK, looking forward to that. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen, and Mark, you're making a classic dessert and something that I've never attempted, so I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> I'll let you do most of the heavy lifting. What's the most important thing in a creme caramel? Well, it's going to be the caramel base. Okay. So we're going to break it into two stages. So we're going to make our custard. Yes. And then we're going to make the caramel. So we've got the caramel on here. So just um, caramelise some sugar. Right. So, that's the, so the sugar's in there. Yes. Splash of water, mix it up to um, like a paste. Yeah. And then heat it till it dissolves and then crank up the heat. And then you want to... Um, not burn it, but you want to caramelise it. Right. But it needs to be it needs to be quite deep deep brown colour. Okay. If it's not if it's not brown enough, if it's too light, you're going to get too much sugar through it, and it's going to it's not going to cut through the richness of the caramel. If you burn it, it's going to taste horrible. Okay, good. <laughs> so well, there's a fine an line eye on this. How's this one looking? Right. So this so this is pretty good. So I got to this stage. You can slow it down if you take it off the heat, or if you just put it in like a bowl of cold water, it will just sort of shock it, and it will slow it down. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm just going to try and get it to the right stage and get it soft again. I'm going to show you the colour what we're after. Okay, great. Right, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that like a hawk. It's one of those things. Don't, <laughs> don't put it on and walk away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll watch it like a hawk. Right. So uh, in here, I've got some uh, milk. Yep. So very hot pan. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to bring that to the boil, and we've got um, some vanilla. So we've got a vanilla pod here. Yeah. So what you want to do with a vanilla pod is tip of the knife, just cut it in half, and then. Using the tip again, you just scrape in all the seeds out, okay? Oh, try not okay. to lose them. Uh, and then we're going to pop it in the milk, we're going to bring it to the boil, and then just take it off the heat and let it infuse for like sort of 20 minutes, and you'll get a great vanilla flavour. Okay. So that can go back on the heat. Oh, I love vanilla. Just, just checking. Yeah, and whatever <laughs> you do, don't, don't, don't <laughs> pop your fingers in here because yep. it's very, very hot and it will burn you. Um, so you've got to be really careful with caramel. Mm, and um, there's another tip for you as well, do it in a light coloured pan. Okay. Because if you, you do it in a dark coloured pan, we, we, we don't really know the... Uh, like the, the well, we don't know the colour, the yeah. true colour, because it looks darker than it is. Yeah. Right, so a little tip to get through that is get, um, get a dry spoon, yeah. just pop it in, shake it around and then take it out and have a look at it in the light. So you see, it looks oh, quite nice. dark in there, but it's yeah. actually quite light. Okay, good. So we're going to give it a little bit longer. Oh, are you sure? Does it need yeah. to bubble? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a, li a little bit, a little bit. So keep having a look at it. You'll see all the bubbles sort of coming. And you can see the sort of smoke coming off it now. Yeah, well, that's why I thought it might have been burning. But I can't, it smells delicious, though. Well, you'll know it's burnt because it'll be, there'll be lots of smoke and you will smell it. But <laughs> this is very, very close at the moment, okay? Okay, good. So you can, sort of, you can sort of see it. Take it off the heat, swirl it around a bit. If we put that in a bit more, you can Ooh, see it's, it is getting a little <clears throat> bit darker. Yep, it is getting darker. So if you get it to this stage and you're doing lots of caramel in the pan, you know, it's really, really hot and there's heat in the pan, so it will just keep um, ticking over. So if I left that now on the side, that will probably burn. Okay. So little tip, take yep. it off the heat carefully, just put a splash of water in. Okay. Just a little bit, swirl it around, and it will just shock it. Right. So it won't, it won't, the temperature won't go up anymore, so it won't burn. But because of the heat of the sugar, it will burn and evaporate that water off. And ah, then nice. carefully, yes. you want to pour it in some moulds. So you can do this in different moulds. So I've got some like tiny uh, metal moulds here. Yeah, lovely. Uh, some aluminium ones. You can do it in ramekins. You can do it in whatever you want. And then basically, you need to do that ahead of time. So the caramel is set. So if you have a look at that, we've got the caramel in there. Oh, it's yeah. already set. It yeah, needs to be that. hard before you do the next oh, stage. Oh, yum. That's going to be amazing. OK, good. Good work. Looking good. I could just eat that like that, but there's some more stages to <laughs> there's do. There's another there? stage. There yeah, is yeah. another stage to do, and we'll get those next steps to making this creme caramel straight after we catch up with Holly. We need to finish off this caramel. So what do we need to do, Mark? Because things right. are looking pretty good here. All right, so we've got the caramel. The caramel's set. Yes. So we need to make the uh, custard. OK, good. So, it's a little bit different from a uh, creme brulee, because okay. you've got cream in a creme brulee. A little bit of milk, but more cream. It's okay. richer, you're just using the yolks. This one's the eggs. Yeah, so we've got two full eggs, and we're richening it up with some yolks. So we've got three yolks, two full eggs, um, I'm gonna pop mm. some sugar in there. But the actual liquid is just milk, so you're gonna get a lot sort of um, cleaner, silkier um, 
custard oh, beautiful. on top, okay, which works nice. really well with the caramel. Right, so eggs, yolks go in there. So two whole eggs and three egg yolks. Yeah, some, some sugar. sugar. Whisk all that together. We've got our vanilla infused milk in there, so you can start pouring that on. Okay. So just make sure this is all whisked and then sort of gradually pour that on. Okay. We're not going to cook it. We're going to cook it in the oven, so we're going to cook it in a bain-marie. Okay, great. Put a little bit more on. A bit more? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. enough? That's good. No, no, all in. Oh, yeah. oh all okay, in. sweet. And then, yeah, just make sure it's, it's all mixed. I've been one of them turned to scrambled eggs for me by now. <laughs> no, it's all good. If you just, if you, nice and slow with the first stage, so you're just getting all that hot liquid onto the eggs and it's, and it's all nice them. and mixed. Yeah, yeah, and then, okay, you can, then you can just chuck it in now. Okay, cool. There you go. All right, so make sure nice. it's all whisked. Mm -hmm. And it's great as well, so if you do it all in stages, it's nice and warm, this mixture as well. So when we, um, when we pour it on top of the caramel, put it in bain-marie, it won't take too long to cook. Oh, great. So you just want to make sure you want to just pass this through a sieve. Oh, so yeah. any, any shell or any sort of big bits of vanilla or husk or the pod gets um, taken out. Pretty there's good. Your, there's your custard. Nice. So it's a good idea just to, uh, you know, just scrape the top off or just let it sit for like 10 minutes. Jesus, um, so you can get all that. We can eat. We can eat this. It's great. I used to eat this when I was a kid. I bet. Brilliant. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and then uh, just get your molds. Yeah. And then pop them in. Oh, and yum. just carefully pour it up. Yeah. You know, to to your desired level. Okay. You, know, so you, you can use whatever mold you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever you got lying around the house. Obviously, you're going to take different times to cook. Mm-hmm. Um, so you just got to be wary of that. And then just get a baking tray, line it with a little um, bit of um, paper towel. Yeah. And then get some boiling hot water or really hot water. And then just put all your molds in and then carefully pour it up. You want to go up to about two thirds of the way up your mold. Yes. And then pop it in an oven 160 degrees until it's set. So depending on the mold size, they might take about 25 to 35, maybe even 45 minutes. And how can you tell they'll see it? Just right, by looking so at them? Well, if you're a good chef, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> For you, Mike. Yes. Right. You have to, uh, so you want to have a look at it and then just shake the tray or even get the mold and just shake it. You can see how, how shaky that is and right. it's completely raw. So you want the custard to be set and you'll get a tiny little shape or a shake in yes. the center, just ever so slightly. Right. And then you can take it out and the residual heat from the uh, mold and the custard will just set that through. So let it cool down for about 10 minutes out of the oven. Pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours, and then you're left with this. And you know, you've got all that beautiful custard in there. So mm. I've just lightly prized it away from the top or from the side. So it's a really uh, delicate custard. And then carefully. Oh, this is the big wanna, moment. You want to tip it up. Oh, and there you go. Oh, nice. I was okay. A bit, I was a bit too you're a bit disappointed one. with that one, aren't you? Do you want me to try this one then? You can try that one. Okay, cool. <laughs> we just haven't got another plate. <laughs> So I'll put it on the chopping board. You ready? Go on then, yeah, do it. Okay, cool. Will this work? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm really looking forward to trying this a little later on when the magic of TV means that it'll look fantastic. <laughs> this looks delicious, but not really how it should look. No, no, I like to serve it in a ramekin. Don't you want oh, to right. turn them up the other way and, yeah, okay. Surprise no, no. at the bottom. Exactly, mm. that's great. And there's more for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What are you going to be doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got something delicious on All me. right, I know he doesn't. He's lost all confidence. <laughs>